Um, all right, we're gonna get started on the angle edition postulate. If you remember the segment edition postulate, it's a, a pretty simple concept. I, I remember saying specifically, you know, even a first or second grader could handle the segment edition postulate. The angle edition postulate is the same exact thing. We're just talking about angle form, okay? So if you recall the segment edition postulate, the two parts add up and they make the whole. The left plus the right equals the whole thing. When we're talking about angles, the angle edition postulate says the same thing, that the left plus the right equals the whole thing. Or some people like to say small plus small equals big. Or some people like to say, you know, the first piece plus the second piece added up together makes the whole thing. Oh, no matter how you want to say it, we're going to add up two small pieces and it's going to equal the whole thing. So when it comes to this picture here, we want to make sure that we know that D is inside, is that interior, a word that we're going to use a lot, but we haven't talked about a ton yet. And I also want to make sure to point out, we're not sure that these are two equal halves. D was not stated to be a bisector. There's no nice curves in the corners. So we can't trust that these are the same angles. They don't look the same, but we can trust that angle A, B, D That would be this left piece, angle A, B, D. And if we add that with angle D, B, C, those two small angles, when you measure them and add them up, it's going to be equal to the whole thing of a, B, C. You know that really is kind of not a great line because it looks like a curse, but that is an angle. So angle A, B, C. Now, always a good idea to double check and make sure that your vertex is in the middle. You know, my vertex is B, so I gotta make sure that B is in the middle of all three of these. That looks good. This literally just says the small plus the small equals the big. And there's really not much more to go about, okay? Remember, if you see an M in front of these, they might be there. You know, the key doesn't have them on there, but the M just means the measurement, right? So we're gonna see that a lot like in question one, you got all those little M's. Don't sweat it. That little M just means that we have a number to go along with it. So number one says that measure of angle ABD is 48. So if I look at this picture, I see that the left piece here, ABD, is going to be 48. And that DBC is 78. DBC is 78. How are we going to come up with a simple little equation that's going to help us find the answer here? It's as easy of an equation as you could possibly make. 48 degrees, and if you add that with 78 degrees, that's going to be the left piece plus the right piece. And when you add up the two small parts, you should get the whole thing. 100 and 26. Thank you, Leslie. Sorry, she's forgetting the door. Thank you, Kevin, for answering. That's the answer. That's it. Right? The question said, what is the measure of angle ABC? And so that's it. The measure of angle ABC is 126. Talking about the next one, we got something a little bit more interesting. Again, this is exactly like the segment edition notes. We had the same exact setup. For this second piece, it says DBC. That's this part over here. DBC is worth 74 degrees. But then it says that MABC is 119. 
What is the measure of angle 119? That's the whole thing, right? ABC is 119. So this is a little bit different. Are we going to be adding these two numbers together? No, because this isn't adding the two small parts. This needs to be taking the big part. And what are we going to do with it? Subtracting. Yep. 119. Subtract. 70. Oh, put my 7 there. 74. That's a great question. Okay. For number one, they said, what is ABC? ABC is the big thing, right? So we got to add up the two parts to make the big one. For number two, it told us that ABC was 119. So, like, there's no reason for us to add together 74 and 119 because that's not going to tell us what this small little extra piece is. Okay. If you've got the big one, you're going to need subtraction. If you don't have the big one, you're going to need addition. Anybody got 119 minus 74? 45 degrees. Yep. Easy peasy. Little addition, little subtraction. Now, you're probably going to recall, even on the test that we took, um, I think it was yesterday, even though we took the test, right? We saw some segment addition questions that looked a lot like this. For number three, we know the measure of PQR is 141. PQR, that is the measure of the entire thing, which is 141. How can we set up an equation here to help us find for x? Well, we know that the angle addition postulate says, on the screen, yeah, pushing it. There we go. Angle addition postulate says that small plus small equals big. Not any harder than that. So let's make a little equation here, right? The small one, 13x plus 4, added together with the other small one, 10x minus 1, should be equal to the big angle, which is 141. Everyone cool with where this is coming from? Again, probably yes, because it's so similar. Um, so similar to the segment addition postulate. Now, we're just going to take this. We're going to send it straight into Desmos. Luckily, we live in the era of Desmos. Students, you know, in other states or maybe students in the past, this was a whole lot more work. We're going to find the answer wherever it gives us that vertical line. Now, what are we going to do with that answer of 6? Where's that going to go on our paper? 6 is the x value. Make sure I'm not blocking that with my head. 6 is the x value. It still is giving us two more blanks. It wants to know what PQS is. PQS. What's up? You got something else? I didn't get a decimal. Did you type it in? Exactly. You put it in a regular calculator, you can get it. Because I got 5.955. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. We're getting some decimals here. All right. So we type. Or I guess you're, you're saying if we go into a regular calculator, you're getting five point. 13x plus 4 plus 10x minus 1 equals 141. Desmos should be definitely giving us 6. Okay. Um, you mean like you just solve it the traditional way? If you try to solve it by hand, mm -hmm. um, so you have the 23x equals 137, and then the 137 divided by 23 doesn't go equally. Mm. I think it's because it should be 138. Because you got to add the 1, which makes 142, and then subtract the 4. Okay, so once we have this... 
I know we're getting a little rest. There's been a lot of notes today. Let's get through like three more questions and we'll be done, okay? Once we have this, how do we solve for PQS in particular? Let me go back to our notes. Going back to PQS, we're gonna take this six and which piece are we gonna plug it into? The 13X plus four. So we're gonna have 13 times six plus four. 13 times six is gonna be 78 plus four is gonna be 82. And then we can do the other one again, just plugging it in. Did anybody get the measure of angle SQR? 59. And that would just be, you know, 10 times six minus one. All right, let's try number four. We, we've done a lot of questions like this. I don't imagine this is super, super complicated, but we gotta make sure we're talking about the same thing, okay? This one now says that the measure of angle DEF, and DEF is the whole piece. DEF is all of this, the big angle. So if we have received the big angle, that's gonna be 7x plus four. The two small angles should add together. So our 5x plus one should be added with 23. I know we're probably getting a little bored, but I, I do not like talking over you guys where possible. Let me scroll my screen down, sorry about that. Kinda amateur today. Here we go. What's up? Why, why, why wouldn't it be like how it is before? Like, um, like wouldn't it be like 7 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1? So remember, small plus small equals big, right? Well, yeah. So this angle DEF, mm -hmm. DEF is the big one. So we still need it to be small plus small equals big, if that makes sense. Got my S. Small plus small equals big. All right, we go to Desmos. We solve it, we type it in, we type carefully. 5x plus one plus 23 equals seven x plus four. I'm looking around. I see that 10 is an answer I'm getting. And that 10, is gonna be my x value. So I can put x equals 10. Anybody got DEG or DEF? Measure of DEG should be five x, which is 10 plus one, that's easy. 50 plus one is 51. And I heard 74, let's double check that. Seven times 10 is easy, that's 70, plus four, 74. The next question, I don't think the next one's really scared me all that much. Let's flip over to the back, just see if there's anything here that scares us. We're not gonna do all these questions, all right, take a deep breath, we're doing okay. I just wanna look back here, okay? On the back, it says that angle DEF is a straight angle. So here we have a little bit of different information, okay? If we know that angle DEF is a straight angle, that is giving us a secret piece of information. What do we know about DEF if we know that D, pardon me, that DEF has to be 180? If it is a straight angle, straight angles are 180, okay? That's coming straight off the notes that we did before lunch. We know what the small is and the small is. We know that the big is 180. So if we wanted to set this up, we could set it up small, oh, 23x minus three. 
thought we had an earthquake for a second there. We had, oh my gosh, the earthquake distracted me and I messed up. Sorry, 23x minus three plus 12x plus eight, and that should be equal to 180. Honestly, I'm not even super concerned with trying to solve this all the way. I did just want us to see straight angles. We understand that straight angles equal 180, and so we can use that to set up our equation. That's not necessarily super scary. Um, question seven, it tells us what TUW, WUV, and TUV is. They're all algebraic expressions. They're all binomials. That's not stressing us out with Desmos. We're just gonna write them all out and we'll be done. Which one of these is the big angle? You guys tell me. TUV, this is the big one here. So that's the one that needs to be on the equal sign. Just writing it down, not even gonna solve the whole thing. 5x plus three added with 10x minus five equals 17x minus 16. Okay, again, Desmos makes that one relatively kind of easy. Eight, they're getting kind of cheeky with us and they're talking about six less than five times. I'm not even really worried about eight today, whatever. Now, at the bottom here, nine and 10 are both using this information. I wanna talk specifically about 10, okay? Because 10 has used one of our favorite words 10 has used bisects. And I just wanna make sure that we're cool with how bisects work. 10 has also thrown us the upside down T, which is kinda nice. What does upside down T mean? Perpendicular, you're correct. So perpendicular tells us we can put a square. Where are we gonna put the square into our little corner here? Anybody know where that square should go? Right, I like, I love the way you said that. A, B, C, that's excellent. So we get a little bit of information there. If we know it's perpendicular, and we know that it gives us a little nice right angle, what degree do we know that that right angle has to be? We know that's gotta be 90, so we get a little bit of information there. So let's see if we can put all this together. B, D is bisecting CBE, which means these should be equal measurements. CBD and DB, DBE should be equal measurements. We get that CBD, CBD is equal to this. And we're trying to find the measure of Oh no, we already get DBE. Ah, okay, I'm putting it all together, okay. Find the measure of ABD. So we're trying to find this, ABD. And it would be really nice if we could just add up, small plus small equals big, but we're missing a lot of information, okay. The good news is we know that 90 is one of the pieces because we know it's a right angle, we know it's perpendicular. We're on the very last one, We're almost done. CBD, we don't really know what CBD is yet. We know that it's 3x plus 25. We don't really know what the measurement of that is. We're gonna wanna use the rest of this information to help us out. If BD is bisecting, then we know that it's the equal, it's splitting them in half. And so it's kind of like the midpoint thing that we used to do. We're gonna set up CBD is equal to DBE. Because we know that the bisect means cut it into two equal parts, we're gonna set it up with this equal stuff. We're gonna wanna use Desmos to figure out what that X value is gonna be. Desmos, clear it out. 
3x plus 25 equals 7x minus 19. All right. All the way over here, my x value is 11. And I'm not quite wrapped up yet. x equals 11. I know this part's 90, but this angle is not 11. I'm not going to do 90 plus 11. CBD, this part right here. I'm gonna need to put the 11 into that CBD. I'm gonna need three times 11 plus 25. That's gonna be 33, 53, 58. And so 90 plus 58, oh my gosh, what a marathon. 148 is the answer we're looking for, which by the way is the measure of angle A, B, D. Now, if you didn't 100% follow along with that last question, have See a great Monday. day, Ms. Bass. See you Monday. Yeah, I know, you're right. I'll have everything on the desk like I had last time. If you didn't quite follow along with that question, it happens, it's the very first day, but I hope that you see, even with these simple setups, there still can be a lot of depth to these questions. There still can be a lot of difficulty that kind of comes out of nowhere. All right, that's it.